Right. That's literally her. Okay, come on. Come on, That's guys. Her right there. Damn, just like that. Get out here, okay? I don't know yet. We're gonna. Let's do our. Oh my god, they killed him! Hey, sweetie, please. Late in the night on September 11th, 2022, officers from the Jackson Township Police Department made their way to the scene of a serious car accident. Upon arrival, panic fills the air while a bystander relays information to 911. Take note that this vehicle is not only turned towards its side, but is far off to the occupant's right side of the roadway, a fact that we will come back to. Oh, my God. Oh, she gone. 55. Are you okay? Oh my God. Were you in the car? I was in the car, okay, yeah. Sit down right here for me, okay? See, she oh made God. it out. Congratulations. Sit down. Sit the down. The driver's seat, the whole car is so sad. <laughs> How are you feeling? Are you okay? I'm okay, but. Did you hit your head? I don't know oh what God. happened. I mean, we saw this car coming at us. We just were at my daughter's house, and my husband all of a sudden just was like, Oh my God, and this guy hit us. Okay. The airbag went off, yeah. And my uh, husband's in the car. Okay, they're gonna help him, okay? Just hang tight, okay? I know, just hang tight. This officer immediately informs another. And it's always the people who usually drive in the right way. On the seriousness behind the situation. Yeah, how many you got? He's dead. Oh my God. So he's, he's bad. All right. Um, daughter's up there. Okay. I mean, the mom was in the passenger seat, she was outside. Okay. Jeez. All right. Boy, hit him. <laughs> Tragedy hits harder when the identity behind the victims are revealed. The accident involved Steph Pappas, a YouTube and TikTok influencer who is well known for her mukbang content. For those who are not familiar, mukbang is a niche man, of... So I ain't gonna lie, bro. Mukbangs is... Hey, people are watching these videos, man. Almost every girl that you know watches a mukbang. It's grown men out here watching mukbangs too. Social media entertainment, where influencers specialize in eating various different foods, often sharing their opinions about the food itself. This be bussin'. <laughs> Respectfully. Respectfully. And is often accompanied by updates in their personal lives. So my daughter what calls me up? and she's like, hey daddy, you wanna go to lunch? I'm like, of course. Cheers. Oh, not bad. Sharing their opinions about the f Why do I keep seeing things that reminds me of what I be saying, bro? I keep seeing videos I, for like two weeks ago when I was watching videos. I kept seeing a lot of things say 2 a.m., 2 a.m., 2 a.m., 2 a.m. I think I've seen this dude before, too. The only time I was busting? Food itself. This be busting. <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully. Respectfully. And is often Respectfully. accompanied by Wait. updates in their Sweet. personal lives. So my daughter calls me and she's like, hey, daddy, want to go to lunch? I'm like, of course. Cheers, too. Uh, Cheers. Should we do it? Hey. That's how I want to. Oh, that's, that's, that's so sweet right there. That's how I want to be with my daughter. That's how you know your daughter love you if she want to have lunch with you, bro. Thumbnail? That's a green flag right there. Steph's loving relationship with her father John is obvious when watching her videos. My dad went in and got the other cookie. Papa Papa saved oh, the day. So yes. Gone. They let me get to keep the cookie. <laughs> he cameos often on her channel, sharing food and special moments with his daughter, clearly showing a loving relationship. The criminal actions that led up to this crash would be wow. solely responsible for ending that relationship this night. The car was also occupied with Steph's mother, seen outside of the vehicle, along so with their dog Cookie, whose condition is unknown in this moment. So that was Steph over there on the phone crying. Dang, let me see some. Let me see what her recent video looked like. She talked about this. That is so sad, man. That is so sad. Yeah, it's right here. Like she edited him in. This Q and A probably talks about what happened. You don't see her dad no more. Dang man, she probably trying to hold it together, hold it up, man. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. We're gonna have you guys move down this way. Okay? Are you hurt? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's start walking down this way. Sorry, yeah, that's, her. Down, right? that's literally her. Hey, okay, come on, come on, that's guys. Her right there. Damn, just like that. Come on, 
Come on, hey, let's get out here, okay? Alive? I don't know yet. We're gonna let's do our. Oh time. my God! They killed him. Hey, sweetie, please. Okay. Come on, please. Okay. No. We're, we're gonna go down here, guys. Yes, right now, okay? I'm sorry. I'm talking to the people that are. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Damn. Bro, seeing how fast. I don't know if he went out fast, but chances is he went out fast. Car accident might be a preferred way to go. If you go out fast, bro, that's the way to get up out of there. Fast, man. Fast. Why don't we have an ambulance here and uh, we'll get the out, okay? <laughs> hey, guys, let's go over here and get... Let's go over here and get checked out, okay? In this moment, an officer drives his cruiser down the road to meet the man who caused the accident in his totaled red pickup truck. Oh my God. These guys. Bro, I swear, these are the dangerous roads right here, too. That's why I was glad when I was driving semi-trucks, because if somebody was to do something stupid, I'm the safest one in this situation, bro. I got a, I got a car about this size right here. I don't know y'all can see, bro. It's a sedan size, bro. Now when I'm in that car, it's like... I feel so vulnerable on a road, and roads like this is so dangerous because all they got to do is accidentally jerk, accidentally get a tick, accidentally get an itch, just swerve a little bit, and it's a wrap, bro. You done. Please, God, I don't want to hear you. Something hey coming in the middle of the road. Let's get an ambulance here, ma'am, okay? He was getting out, so I came out. Okay. Yeah. Your truck's tall. And then okay. there's another vehicle up there. Yeah, there's we have like officers people. and medics over yes. there. Okay. I, I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay. Wait, did you what witness the accident? No, no, no. We came up on it. Oh, my God. No. Oh, is he intoxicated? No, 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 no. no, that's crazy. Hey, let, let's, watch, let's watch. The craziest thing about it is, like, these people that be dying, it's like, they had plans for today. They had plans for next month, for next year. They probably had a cruise ship plan, some videos planned. Hey, Dad, let's do this next week. Like, damn. Oh, I'll help you down here, okay? We came up on it and didn't even see it because it was in the middle of the road. So we just thought we'd step I don't know. until you guys got okay. here. Okay. So I'm going to turn around and go back. and. Okay. All right. I'll go shut down down there it's if you'll stay me. with him. Yeah. Um, 2019. And he that, in a big it, truck, it's too. Me, mom, mom. But that's why it's key to it's. I need to get rid of this sedan as soon as possible, bro. Getting at least a truck, put yourself in a more, um, what's the word like a beneficial position, man. Me, it's me, position, mom. Man. It's me. Do you have an ID? He looked yes. drunk, okay. Maybe not Thank drunk, you. but just something yes. wrong with him. He don't look, he don't look okay, drunk. He's, he's do I get her? Where, where am I going? What? Yeah, we're gonna go. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Let her go. Can you help get her too? Yes. Let her go, nigga. You don't know what you're doing. Why are you holding her arm right here, bro? What are you doing? Doing too much. If that was me, you would not be holding my arm, bro. Calm down. Okay. okay. Don't need okay. Help walking are you down. sure? Let her go. Okay, yeah, we'll check on her, right? Go. No, I monstrous her. About a quarter of a mile away from Arlington. Clear. That'll be the mail in front of that 7750. Here. Sir, do you have your firearm no. on you? No. Is it in the vehicle? No. Okay. All right, just step back here. Hi, sir. Come on, okay, uh, come back you? here with me. Here it is clear that the truck is sitting on the wrong side of the road, a sign that he crossed into oncoming traffic. You mind getting off phone for me? Yes. Can't turn them up. Cross her right through the it's clearly his fault just off of the situation. I think this guy might be intoxicated. Just look at his eyes a little bit, but he's holding it pretty well. Because it's like if you got a dad driving with his wife and his daughter, most likely he's not about to be driving crazy, bro. So this guy clearly in the wrong. All right. yes. Okay, Um, are, are you okay? How you feeling? My face hurts. Okay. Okay. Can you explain what, what happened? Drunk. I cannot car Hit me. The car hit you? Okay. Which way, where are you headed? Towards Arlington. Okay. I was going to make it right at the light, and then my house is right there at, Br at Bruno Farms. Okay. All right. Um, have you had anything to drink tonight? Yep. Nothing at all? Yep. Okay. Don't lie. Um, I'm smelling a little bit of alcohol Thank on you. Thank you. I know I wasn't Be honest with me. If you had just one, 
Thank you. Have you had anything at all? No. He did. Okay. I'm running through a couple tests, okay? Right. I'll make sure that you're okay, all right? Hey, weed is legal. I mean, alcohol is legal, bro. Alcohol should not be legal, bro. I don't care what nobody says. It should not be legal. It, it's You should not be legally drinking alcohol, bro. That shit should be um, legal. Do you, uh, you have any problems with your knees, ankles, anything like that? No. It should okay. be legal, Did bro. you hit your head be during legal. the accident at all? Yes. Okay, do you wear uh, glasses or contacts? Glasses. Okay, do you have any stigmatisms, anything wrong with your eyes? Yes. What's wrong with your eyes? A big, a a stigmatism in both eyes. You have a stigmatism in both eyes. Yes. Okay. Anything else wrong? With them? That's it. That's and it. and I stutter. I've 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 got a speech impediment. Okay. Do you have um? Any drug? Do you have like uh, low blood sugar or anything like that? No. Nothing at all. Okay. All right. Um. First thing I'm gonna have you do. I'm gonna test your eyes real quick. Just keep your hands down to your side for me, okay? Just try to look right here at my pen, okay? All right. Can you see my pen? All right. Yep. All right, what I want you to do, I want you to follow my pen with your eyes, your eyes only, do not move your head, okay? Man, it's crazy, bro, because it's like, imagine you just living your day, and then it's a dude that look like this that just takes your life later this night. You living your day watching this video right now, we all just chilling. Ten hours from now, a dude that look like this takes your life, bro, because he's driving on the wrong side of the road, man. The officer checks for HGN, or horizontal gaze nystagmus. He is looking to see if the suspect's eyes jerk or shake as they move from side to side. Follow, hey, right here, you see where I'm pointing? Yep. Follow it with your eyes, don't move your head, okay? All right. Like it's jumping. You're not even looking at it. Yeah. All right. Try this again, okay? I need you to follow it with your eyes and don't move your head, okay? Can you do that for me? Yep. Okay. An inability to follow simple instructions combined with other criteria can help an officer develop the probable cause to make a drunk driving arrest. Bro, I, f I said he was drunk when he was over there standing by the car, but then I took it back because he answered if he had a license like it was nothing. He looked like he, he was pretty all the way there. Can you not see it? Oh, I can see it. Okay, why aren't you following it then? You're stopping. I was following it. No, he's okay. so drunk. Just one more time, okay? What is he looking at? Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. All right. He might Why don't you go ahead and face me real quick, okay? Right. What I'm gonna have you do? Hands down to your side. Can I actually? Pull? Yeah, pull up your pants. You're fine. Um, actually, what I'm gonna do? Sit right, stand right there on that yellow line. All right. Face this way. Okay. Now, which, with ever foot um, you like, or we'll take your right foot first, okay? What we're gonna do is uh, walk and turn, all right? All right? Can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay, can you see me okay? Yes. All right, I want you to take your right foot, place it on the yellow line. Your right foot, okay. Now take your left foot, place it in front of your uh, right, heel to toe. I want you to stand like that, hands down to your side. He's driving the car, man. While I instruct you on this test, okay? All right. He's what I'm gonna have you do, is during this test, you're going to stay in that position. Don't move until I tell you to begin. You're going to take nine heel-to-toe steps in a straight line on this yellow line. All, right. All steps must be heel-to-toe. Do not stop once I once you begin. I'm going to demonstrate this for you, okay? Hey. He's clearly drunk. Bro, can't they just do a test, like just do a breathalyzer or something? He's clearly drunk, bro. Take his blood or something? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Go back to your house, please. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, we just we tried to save you from something you don't want to see. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna give you a business card here. If you have anything on your camera that shows the accident or whatever, you if you're yeah. later date, just yeah. give me a call. Okay. One, two, three, four. Good. Five, Good police six, work right there. Nine, and then the test will uh, end. Okay. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you have any questions about that? For reasons we cannot hear or determine, the officers speak to each other and decide to take the sobriety test further down the road. Back there? All right, come back here, sir. I wanna make sure you're on a, on a flat plane here, all right? 
Uh, that's the reason right there. Just said. All right, here we go. It's a little more flat for you, all right? Okay. Same thing, I'll, you want me to instruct you again on this? No. Six steps up. Nope, here. Go, I'm gonna instruct you again. Your, nope, your right foot, place it on the other line. Bro, your left. he's clearly drunk, though. Clearly. Foot in front of there, stay in that position, okay? Hold on, whoa, whoa, hold on, stop. I'm gonna tell you how to do this, okay? The officer runs through the instructions again, ordering him to take nine heel-to-toe steps in one direction, turn around, then do another nine heel-to-toe really steps towards the opposite the direction. Hey, do you understand that? Yes. Do you have any questions on that? All right, go ahead and begin. I'm not even looking down. Bro, he's, he's about to get me mad, bro, because he could be drunk, bro. Lock him up. Put him in handcuffs. Throw away the key. I wonder how much time you do get though for drink driving and drunk driving and then killing somebody, bro. Life. Okay, next text I may have you do. Stand over there for me. And face me again. Hands out of your pockets, still. hands down to your side. Feet together. What I'm gonna have you do? You have any ankle problems, hip problems, knee problems, anything like that? No. Okay. I just, I've worked the last 40 hours in three days. Okay. What I'm gonna have you do? When I tell you to, whichever foot you want, I'm gonna have you lift it off the ground six inches. Okay. You're gonna lift it off the ground six inches. You're gonna point your toe while looking at your toe, hands down to your side. You're gonna count out loud. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. Just like I am. You're going to do this until I tell you to stop. Do you understand that? Correct. I understand. Any questions on that? Yes, sir. You do have questions? No, I no, I no questions. I, I do not. Okay, go ahead and begin. One, two, three. Look down at your toe. Four, five, six, seven. Continue. Do they have to really run through all this stuff? He's drunk, man. Get him out of there, bro. Put him in prison One, already. Two, three. Put him in prison already, man. One, two, swallow the key. Three. Pause. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have you turn around. Put hands on your back. Thank you, man. Let's go. Put your palms together. Palms together. Let's go. There you go. Go ahead. Let me be placed under arrest for suspicion of uh, operating vehicle while impaired. Okay. This one's out right, of here. I'm gonna make sure these are spaced okay. Yep. And then I'm gonna you double lock them, okay? Just, Justin, is that right? Jake. Jake, Jake. Sorry. And your last name? Muter. Muter. Jake, are you having any medical issues right now? I understand right. your face hurts, but right. is anything else hurting right now? J just, just, just. Like Straight to the backfield, man. People like this are annoying, bro. They should be annoying to you too, to society, period. Because it's like you're not being responsible. You're taking people's lives, bro. People that don't need to be leaving. People that's clearly, they just being a normal citizen. And you taking their life because you want to drink and drive, bro. You only drinking because you're running from your problems probably already. Because why else are you drinking, bro? You, you drinking to have fun because you want to escape from your present moment. That's why you drinking. Because you wasn't with no people. You wasn't drinking just to, I don't even know, bro. You just you was drinking to run from your problems, bro. So now you killing somebody, bro. Now you want to drive and shit. This man was driving a full, like whatever that truck was, whatever brand. A demon, bro. Like, uh, what am I trying to say? Like a... Uh, a mechanical beast, bro. A machine that can take a life, bro. He's driving that drunk. He can't even fucking walk. Face and my right down in the in your ankle. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna have you go have a seat in the car, real quick. Okay. I have to. Can you? I'll bring I my car down. Here. You hold I respect. It. That's you right. Guys. Here, I'm sir. I'm just gonna have you lean up against the car. Can okay? I just put this down in my? I'm just gonna set it on top of the car and then I'll hand it to you in just a minute. Okay. I'm just gonna put it right here. Okay. And you can just lean back with your back up against the car. And there's no firearm in your car? Okay. And you don't have any weapons on you? Okay. The officer searches Jacob and finds his phone, wallet, cigarettes, and cash. Here's the cash. There we How go. much cash do we have here, do we think? Probably, I just got off work, probably 400 bucks, if that. 
Okay, where are you working? I'm the manager of the basement. Okay. We decided to search the basement on Google Maps near the crash site. We found it to be a small sports bar chain in the area. The closest location to the crash is roughly a five-mile drive away, indicating this as the distance the suspect probably drove before he caused this crash. Right, so I'm going to just keep this right in front of you, okay? Right. You said 400 bucks? This is on 9-11-2022. Was this a weekend? I ain't about to look it up, but... Is that what you said? Between three and four hundred dollars. Okay, all right. So I'm going to count this in front of you. Right. I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 80 120. 100. So 120 here. The rut, the rust is in the truck. It's right? in the truck. Okay, all right. So this is 120, though. I'm going to put it right back in your pocket. Right. I don't want it. I want it in your pocket. Sure, fine, brother. <laughs> you say you're all right, So because you are under arrest, you ever watch cop shows? Yeah. You know, Miranda writes. I got to read them to you. Um, just so you know, you have the right to remain silent. All right, man. We're going to see if anything else happened, though, bro. But So he ended up getting locked up. He's back there right now. Suspect is repeating himself, of course, bro. These damn drunk drivers, man. Y'all are ridiculous, man. Stay. Stay. Okay. Wait, what the hell is he? Is he getting released? After we get the results from, from the urine test, we'll give you a call. We'll let you know um, if... if it's over the limit. We'll we'll give you a call and let you know what the next steps are. Okay. Do you have any questions for me right now? I do not. Okay. Well, so if you accidentally kill somebody in a car accident, that's not murder. That's not murder to then put you in jail. Like he's able to be free. Okay. Take care. Okay. Stay. Right. Stay. Okay. Immediately after the incident, the internet caught wind that Steph Papa's father, John, was involved in the crash. The hasty publicity behind his death prompted Steph to make a video response on her channel, where she addressed the situation just two days after the accident. Jacob's court records indicate he faced numerous unrelated traffic infringements in the years prior to this incident. He was caught speeding on multiple occasions, disobeying traffic lights, driving under suspension, and driving without a seatbelt multiple times. The most devastating previous charge, dangerous overtaking traffic while driving on the opposite side of the road. Oh, Our yeah. records indicate he faced no prior felony charges. It's here that we should highlight the resting locations of both vehicles. The lifted multi-ton pickup truck is seen resting well past the center of the road, while the victims of the crash are well off the right side. The vehicles were also nearly 300 yards away from each other after they stopped. These factors, outside of Jacob's obviously failed sobriety test, suggest he was drunk, speeding, and well into the opposite side of the road, facing oncoming traffic. The heroic actions of Steph Papa's dad, swerving to the right in his last moments, very likely spared the front seat passenger as well, right. Steph's mom. Unfortunately, Man. it would be later discovered that their dog, Cookie, was also in the car at the time of the crash and did not survive the accident. Wow. On November 21, 2022, over a month after the incident, a warrant was issued for Jacob's arrest that was likely triggered by the results of his urine test coming back. The following day, he was apprehended. The other driver was three times over the legal alcohol limit Clearly. and going almost 90 miles per hour in the wrong lane uh, on the road. He pled not guilty to all eight charges he faced, which included one count of aggravated vehicular homicide as a second degree felony, one count of aggravated vehicular homicide as a third degree felony, one count of aggravated vehicular assault as a third degree felony one count of improperly handling firearms in a motor vehicle as a fifth degree felony so it was a firearm in a vehicle one count of ovi due to alcohol as a first degree misdemeanor one count of ovi due to amphetamines as a first degree misdemeanor one count of wanton disregard for safety as a minor misdemeanor and one count of violating speed limits as a minor misdemeanor on december 5th 13 days later he was released on a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar bail in ohio defendants are allowed to pay 10 percent of a bond bond in cash to be released. A relative to Jacob provided $25,000 to make that happen. Jacob's defense team attempted to bar evidence from being used in court, the details of which are not revealed in court dockets. Regardless, that effort would prove fruitless, as the motion would be denied in February of 2023. Oh, up, On March 31st, it appears that Jacob took a plea deal. 
His charges for aggravated vehicular homicide were combined. For that, he was sentenced seven years in prison, which he would serve consecutively with a sentence of three years for aggravated uh. vehicular assault. His remaining sentences would be charged concurrently, which included one year for his improper handling of firearms and 30 days for each of his operating a vehicle under the influence charges. Uh, no, Ultimately, no. he is to serve 10 years in prison with 71 days of jail credit. He also has to pay over $500 in fines. His license has also been suspended for the remainder of his life. Okay, that's 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 good enough. I like that right there. A little bit more prison time, though, like maybe 15, 18 years so we can really get that lesson, bro. License being suspended the rest of his life for sure. And then he should owe the people some money, too. Like some of that bond money should go to the family. He is currently being held at the Lorraine Correctional Institution and is expected to be eligible for and released on parole in February of 2033 when he is 37 years old. In the description below, you'll find links for organizations you can donate to and help fight against and prevent drunk drivers in the future. Late in the night on September Man, 11th, 2020. That is annoying right there. Hey, these uh, man, these drivers is annoying, bro. That just kind of killed my mood for real, man. To see he only got ten years, bro should get life for that. I ain't gonna like life, bro. At least thirty years. Thirty. At least his license is suspended for the rest of his life, though. 